Today, I'm upcycling a trunk that I had sitting around my house to turn it into a Dungeons & Dragons style mimic. This is the trunk I had. It had all these cute little decorations glued onto the top, but they aren't very intimidating, so I pulled them all off, and that's why there's some different textures on the top there. Alright, I'm just going in and sculpting some teeth. Just jagged, sharp, long, scary teeth. Just done with the Sculpey. I'm going in and doing some tiny little teeth. This is for the bottom lip of the chest. Because they don't have as much clearance. I'm going in and painting this chest a darker brown. I'm going in with a lighter brown. I've, I've painted those little nail heads off, off camera. I'm going in with a lighter brown and just dry brushing a little bit of dimension. Trying to catch all of the edges and the raised areas with a little bit of a lighter color. These are some little feet that I had found at a craft store some time ago and bought for this project and I'd painted them gold previously and I'm just trying, dry brushing a little bit of brown onto them as well to age them up a bit. And an even lighter brown, same thing, just a bit of dry brushing, 
Dry brushing is when you get some paint on your brush, wipe most of it off, and then just let the remaining paint catch the raised details for a little dimension. I'm going in with a dark, dark brown wash. Uh, wash is just a watered-down acrylic paint in this case that I am brushing on and then immediately dabbing off with a paper towel. I'm also cleaning the dry brushing and any wash that gets on the nail heads at this time. And that was the outside of the chest. Now I'm going in with those teeth I sculpted and baked and gluing them in with some hot glue. Going in with some hot glue on the back side of these just to cover them all up with glue and add a sort of gum-like effect surrounding the teeth. And now we've got the chest flipped up on its back. I've marked a line on the inside of the trunk about a half inch from the edge so that these upper teeth have clearance around the lower teeth so the trunk will close correctly. And once again I'm just going in with hot glue and gluing these teeth down.
Now I'm gluing those little feet on. I did do a wash on those as well, so they'll blend in with the chest. I'm just gluing them on with E6000. They do have little nail holes, but I was working on this late at night and didn't want to wake my roommate up with a hammer. So glue will be just fine. I don't think this piece is going to get a lot of heavy wear and tear in its use. Then I decided that this needed a tongue to be properly horrifying, so I've given it a little structure with aluminum foil, and I'm covering that foil with Sculpey clay. Just giving it a bit of a tongue texture with some brush bristles. I'm just painting it after it's baked. Going in with a lighter shade of red and dry brushing the tongue. And then going in with that wash. This is a black wash. It ended up being a little darker than I wanted it, so I poured some water into the red I had used for the dry brushing and did a bit of a red wash over the top of it. And that got it to just where I wanted it to be, so let it dry and then hot glued it into the chest. Um, uh, when I was measuring the tongue. I had to be careful to make sure it had enough allowance to allow the teeth to close in the chest, which is why some of the back of it has been cut off so it would sit a little more flush with the back. And there was a little gap because I didn't cut very accurately, so I'm filling that in with hot glue. And it closes, hooray. So in order to get that slimy, drooly, inside of mouth look, I've mixed up some resin. This is Art & Glow brand, which is what I generally work with. I like it. And I'm just coating that whole tongue and all of the teeth with a hefty coating of resin. Oh, and at the gums, at some point, all of that hot glue, I went in and painted a sort of deep red color, similar to the tongue. So if you happen to look up in there, they look like gums, not just globs of hot glue. So those got a coat of resin, too. I also did a light brushing of resin just on the edge, the top and bottom edge of the lid. So it sort of looked like a little bit of drool perhaps in the edges of the mouth of the Mimic. And there it is, the completed deal. Would you dare to reach in and get some candy from there?
Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw and want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see what I was up to yesterday, that video is linked for you on the screen.